The first part is about yoga and poga. Yoga satova, poga satova. Sati means delight. So the first line means revel in yoga. I revel in poga. Sati? I will talk about the tense in Sahitin Yoga. Here, yoga can mean meditation or spiritual practices. Om Yogini Namaha. Devi is Yogini. She's, she has become the master of the mind through spiritual practices. I will share examples from my own spiritual practices. When I feel connected to God and when I don't feel connected to the self. First example. I sit with my mantra counter to chant my mantra twice a day. I am supposed to chant it 108 times. Sometimes I am so absurd in it that I forget to stop. In this case, the spiritual practice helps to connect to Psamman, to Amma, to the absolute truth because we forget ourselves in the practice. Amma, I would like this to happen more often because in fact it doesn't happen so often. I would like to be an able to chant the mantra always to be connected to you all the time. I also chant a few prayers in Sanskrit before sleeping, as instructed by a mat to the kids. Sometimes I don't put my hands in prayer, I sing fast, doing something else at the same time. In this situation, even if I am apparently doing a spiritual practice, I am not one with it. So I am not in yoga, because it also means union. I am not connected to the self because of the lack of satha in this moment. Amma says that if we have sata, we have love. If we have sata, even the simple actions like sweeping and eating can become a spiritual practice. Amma meditates with us, sings patients with us, gives us teachings, but she also dances gives us food and spends time with us during the festivals. In every situation, she has full strength and love. It means that even in Poga, if we have longing for God, we can be connected to the Supreme Self. Now I will talk about how to revel in Poga. Poga is the world, the riches, the worldly pleasures. Om Pogini Namaha. Devi is Pogini. She's the enjoyer. She enjoys all the life forms. All that can be enjoyed. But Devi is also the one to be enjoyed in every situation. Of course, 
we can enjoy life within the limits of Tasma. But following Gunly, our lights will be a mere trap from the monkey mind. This Mr. Monkey Mind wants to become the leader, not the servant. It's Maitlis. Ha, Poga Tatova. We can find someone in Poga. So go and do whatever you want. But it's not so simple. Because we are not united with someone yet. So we need to follow some do's and don'ts. Yamas and niyamas. A lotus leaf stays unwetted, even in the water. Amma is like a lotus. She has lotus feet. Even in the water of the world, she remains untouched because she's um, Atma. But we are like saplings that need to be protected with the fence of Tasma. We must train our minds to go beyond our likes and dislikes and to be happy in every situation. No, happy in every situation. Mama gives us both by and pickles. All is pressed, even the spicy situations. Skalam kanalu posekyannu. Jeevantana luko te kyannu Jeevitam vete il mambu Pase vite kyannu Vede hitama suni ne kyannu Vede hitama suni ne kyannu The path is made of flowers and turns Of successes and failures During the game Don't see Adi? At Sikh Krishna Jayanti, I wasn't able to break any butts. So I was a little upset. But in spite of it, I tried again and again and I had a lot of fun. Am I happy? Whatever happens. During a festival, she's happy. If somebody is sad, she expresses compassion and acts secondly, but she remains happy deep inside. She remained equanimous and loving even while licking the wands of Datan. This is possible because she's Atma. Her mind revolves in Psamman. Yes, yep, Psamman is a Chittam. During spiritual practice, cis and worldly activities, the most important is our attitude, connection with Psamman. It's the same whether we are alone physically or in community. Now, I will talk about Sangha Tatova Sangha Vihinaha. Sangha is a group of persons. Sangha Vihinaha means without other people. To mei kakin ye namaha. Devi is sei kakini. She is the lone one. There is no second. She is non-duality. Om bhamma tupa ye namaha. Devi is the lone one. Ei kakini. But we all see her as many. And she's in not what we see also. In the French ashram, we could feel the most subtle presence. When I was living there, sometimes they were only two, three people. At other times, the ashram was full. And my altar was always there. Whether there was a crowd or a few people, every day people were gathering in the temples to sing Pajan.
Legends Fama. I was able to spend time with the altar, either alone or with many people. In the Bhagavad Gita class, Dhyanam Sita Swami tells us that there is only one Atma, but the Atma is everywhere and in everyone. It makes me think of an invisible thread which connects all the creators of the universe. It's Amma or Atma. If we feel the mind inside us, in the altar of our hearts, we will be delighted when we are alone or in company of others. No, planning time. When, uh, as for me, I like both playing alone or with many other kids. When I play with the kids, sometimes we have a very happy time. But sometimes we argue also because of the latent tendencies we have in our minds. Sometimes we share, sometimes we don't. When we don't agree about which game to play, at least one person should give up its own idea. Sometimes we manage to play together, sometimes we don't. Being with others is fun, but it also helps us to see our vasanas, whether they are positive or negative. Only if we see our avidya, we can remove it. If we see only vidya, our good tendencies, we will never be able to remove the darkness. Instead, we will even lead us to greater darkness. And tam tam apsa vishanti. Ye avidya mupasate. Tato puja ivate tamo. Yao vidya yam sataha. Ama, you tell us that you're always with us, but also tell us that you're everywhere and in everyone. I would like. Feel you in my heart, always, and to see you in others. Some days ago, I was so jealous that I was unable to feel you in my heart for even a minute. And so, I disrespected others. May this never happen again. Ama, I want to be always in your physical presence. I feel sad when I am not with you. Of course, I will have to go back to France. And so, when I will be in France, I hope I will be able to continue my learnings and to share all what I learned here with my heart, not only with the mouth with which I am speaking. I want to come back soon in the abode of immortality. I'm Sita Pussy. Sada had merged in Krishna, so she was feeling his love and presence in every situation. She's a halame, she's a deshame, she's a veshame, saho. Sada, samana, sada, samana, sada, samana, bolo. She's a kamame, she's a dammame, she's a gavame, saho. Sadha, samana, sadha, samana, sadha, samana, bolo. She's a sangame, she's a sangame, she's a gavame, saho. Sadha, samana, sadha, samana, sadha, samana, bolo. She's a yogame, she's a pogame, she's a sogame, saho. Sadha, samana, sadha, samana, sadha, samana, bolo. Wherever I am, whatever I do, I want 
to be with you. Amma, my mother, Amma, my good to Amma. Oh, my dear Amma. Come into my heart, shine into my mind. Please stay with me forever. Amma, my mother, Amma, my good to Amma. Oh, my dear Amma. Amma, my mother, Amma, my good to Amma. Oh, my dear Amma. Amma, my mother, Amma, my good to Amma. Oh, my dear Amma. Oh, I'm safe with you, Namaha.